second and seven. Grant on play action on the near side. Pass is caught. Turning up field for a big gain across midfield in the Minutemen territory is Ramsey Morrell. Zephyr's going for it. Grant, pressure, rolling to the near side. Grant trying to turn it upfield, and he will be taken down short of the first down. Seth takes back over at quarterback. Down and three, Gary at quarterback. They'll give to Bomer. He's hit in the backfield and down he goes. And for the second straight time, the Minutemen have turned the Zephyrs back on downs. Be the quarterback. B and Joe Hess will rotate up the quarterback spot as Cox bounces out of a tackle. And that was not to his benefit as he will end up losing about six yards. Third and two. Sanger on another carry, lost the football. And the Minutemen recover. Fumble was picked up by Jallo. Two wide receivers here on second down. The pitch to Bomert on the left side. Cuts back inside. Bomert on his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Zephyrs. 35-yard touchdown run. Minutemen will start this drive with Cole B at quarterback. Four wide receivers once again. Cox in the backfield. B on the keeper. Speed up the middle, and he will have the first first down since the opening drive for the Minutemen after a gain of 11. Fourth and two, officially no gain. And nothing doing on the handoff up the middle. For Sanger. For the third time, the Minutemen defense have forced a turnover on downs. They'll give it to Fee as he's able to break it on the near side. He's got a first down into Zephyr territory out of bounds of the 45 yard line of the over. Escorts him out of bounds. Play action, Gary on the roll. He'll keep. He'll have a first down and get taken down at about the 31-yard line after a gain of 13. First down, Zephyrs from the 30 as Geary's pass on the near side is caught. Turning up field is free, and he's able to break a tackle, but he steps out of bounds at about the 10-yard line. Gary on the sneak, and he's in. Sam Gary with the quarterback sneak touchdown, and the Zephyrs take the opening kickoff of the second half and put a big touchdown on the board. It's 12 0. He'll give to Cox, excuse me, he'll keep it himself. He's got a big gain across the 40 yard line and is spun down on the far side. That'll be a gain of about 14. Two receivers to the near side. Bomert on the handoff, big hole. Bomert into Minutemen territory. Bomert inside the 25, down to about the 20. Gary on the play action. Pass is caught by Sanger, breaks the tackle. Sanger inside the five. And will be taken down at the one yard line. Gary will just sneak it himself, and he's got another one. Sam Gary with his second rushing touchdown of the third quarter. And the Zephyrs in complete command now. It's 19 to nothing with 4.47 to play in the third quarter. Test remaining the quarterback. Four receivers once again with Fee on the near side as the receiver. Yes, seven-step drop setting up the screen for Cox. Cox gets ahead of steam as a first down into Zephyr territory. He'll be taken down at the 38-yard line. Be the quarterback on fourth down, three receivers to the right. He will keep, tries the middle, breaks a tackle, gets near the line to gain, but won't get there as the Zephyrs will turn the Minutemen over on downs. 
Homer at the tailback. He'll get the carry. Homer breaks a tackle initially, then stumbles forward to the 35 yard line. It's a 20 yard run for Homer. Lost football, and the Minutemen recover. And it looks like that will be the case. The Monomedi Zephyrs are headed back to the state tournament for the fifth time in nine years. They beat a good effort from the St. Paul Central Minutemen by a final score of 20 to nothing.